When you are developing any Angular application, it is very important that you have the proper extension for the Visual Studio Code because it will help you uh, understand the structure of your application better. So the the application the the extension that you are going to install is the Angular Extension Pack. It is a very nice uh, uh, extension. It will include all other extension. I think I have installed only this one, and it it installed the uh, Angular two type typescript snippet and all the language services and material and all of this snippets so all you need to do is install the angular extension package and it will install uh, all the other uh, extension that you need once you install this one you must have in your application you have your icons here it will display and if you open the source and it will give you some cool uh, feature like if you right click on that on the folder you have access to ng g component or g for generate ng g for generate again directive pipe service class and all of those things and this is very important that you can create them here so that's why when you install those come um, uh, extension you have access to a lot of features like that so for now we will create just a single folder here to see how we how it is going to work create a folder we will call them pages inside the pages uh, we will have all the components that are related to pages as i said component of this uh, blocks of code that you have in your application for example your website has about page home page contact page you can uh, create different component for each each one of those and it is not necessary that you should do like that it is how you can structure your code and your website will look better if you look at that a few months later that's why we use that technique so if you want to create a component for now you can right click on this one create uh, ng g for generate component now all you need to do is write the component name for now if i write home it will open uh, it will create a component inside the pages for um, the pages folder by the name of home and it will give me the uh, file i need it is also using the ngg component if i come to the website quickly it will use the same command but in a, a ui way or user interface way so you can run this command in your command line also but it is not only that you have the, that feature here the thing is that you should go to the pages directory and run the command from here it will automatically create the uh, component inside your page that way your application will have a better uh, structure that way you will not lose anything you will just uh, be fine and it will import the component that you create in your application also if i come to the app module here as you can see we have our home component that we create right now now we have it here it just imported that component for now let's create one more opening here ng component let us give them an about it will take a few seconds now we have it as you can see we have our about component here and it will import that at the top of our page and it will uh, just uh, put that in the module folder we will discuss about them in the future for now it is just fine that you have it here as you can see about component has been created uh, uh, here and it will um, uh, put that in the uh, declaration also so as you can see it is very easy to create component using the extension and all the tools in visual studio code